With filterless zero water change tanks growing in popularity, I wanted to talk about why duckweed is probably the best plant for this type of setup. I know a lot of people hate regular duckweed, but giant duckweed is far more manageable and still provides most of the benefits making it a great alternative. For those who prefer reading, I've linked my fully sourced blog post in the video description, but let's get into the video. In the hobby, the term duckweed typically refers to plants in the Lemna genus, but it's often used used more broadly to include all plants in the Lemnoidea subfamily, which consists of five genera and around 30 species. Research on duckweed has seen a significant rise in recent years thanks to its outstanding performance in fields like phytoremediation and wastewater treatment. Phytoremediation is a natural process where plants help clean contaminated soil and water, while wastewater treatment focuses on removing pollutants to make water safe for the environment. As you can guess, these processes share many similarities with filterless zero water change aquariums, making duckweed an excellent plant for these setups. One of the biggest advantages of duckweed in filterless zero water change aquariums is its ability to reduce all nitrogen compounds in the tank. While many aquarium plants are known to absorb non-toxic ammonium and nitrate, research shows that duckweed also helps reduce toxic ammonia and nitrite levels. In filterless setups, water flow is often overlooked because it's typically provided by the filter. However, even a small amount of flow, like from a USB water pump, can significantly enhance duckweed's performance. The flow moves water containing toxins around the tank, increasing the chances of these compounds coming into contact with the duckweed, which then uses them as nutrients. Under ideal conditions, duckweed can remove up to 86% of these contaminants, creating a safer and environment for fish, shrimp and snails. Additionally, it provides extra surface area for beneficial microorganisms to colonise, further helping to manage toxic nitrogen buildup in the tank. The Devil's Lake Water Treatment Plant in North Dakota is a great example of how duckweed is scaled up for wastewater processing on a larger scale. In this Google Earth image, you can see the dedicated duckweed treatment areas on the left, which help the facility process up to 3.5 million gallons of wastewater daily. Another major benefit of duckweed is its ability to absorb significant amounts of heavy metals in your aquarium. If these metals are allowed to accumulate, they can lead to serious issues even in small quantities. For example, copper is particularly harmful to shrimp even in trace amounts. However, the duckweed in my shrimp tanks helps keep them safe by removing excess copper from the water. This table shows the average absorption rates of Lemna minor for common heavy metals with rates ranging from 70% to an impressive 99.53%. For those who prefer a more manageable option, giant duckweed has slightly lower absorption rates, but its ease of maintenance makes it a worthwhile trade-off. Keep in mind that most of the heavy metals absorbed by duckweed remain within the plant and can be released back into the water if it's left to decompose in the tank. Fortunately, duckweed's rapid growth means you'll likely be removing a significant amount of it each week, helping to minimise this issue. Another reason duckweed is an excellent choice for filterless, zero water change tanks due to its ability to help manage total dissolved solids or TDS. There's a common myth that TDS will continuously rise in a zero water change tank because as water evaporates the dissolved solids remain behind. The theory is that topping off your tank to replace evaporated water gradually increases TDS to harmful levels for your fish. While it's true that solids don't evaporate like water, TDS doesn't constantly build up if you have the right plants and bacteria in your tank. Simply put, some aquarists manage TDS with water changes while others manage it by regularly removing excess plant growth. For example, my Wallstad method tank hasn't had a water change in 5 months, yet its TDS remains at 228, well within the safe range for the fish and shrimp. As mentioned earlier, the nitrogen compounds and heavy metals which contribute to TDS are absorbed by duckweed but it also helps manage other factors too. There's even research showing that duckweed reduced the TDS of landfill runoff water by 41% in just 15 days. While 41% might not sound impressive at first, remember that this is a wastewater treatment study that dealt with significantly high 
higher TDS levels than we typically see in an aquarium. One counter argument is that live plants don't absorb lipids, sugars or proteins in the water, meaning these components could still accumulate over time. However, waste eating bacteria which are abundant in dirted tanks play a vital role here. A single teaspoon of topsoil contains billions of bacteria from thousands of species and these bacteria release enzymes like proteus, lipase and amylase to break down proteins, fats and carbohydrates. Beneficial bacteria and plants can then absorb at least some of these broken down components helping to manage TDS more effectively. It's important to note that aquariums with inert substrates or baked aqua soil products may not have the necessary bacterial colonies to perform this process effectively. In contrast, dirted tanks which are commonly used for filterless, zero water change setups are much more likely to contain these beneficial bacteria colonies. An additional benefit of duckweed which ties into managing TDS is its ability to reduce water evaporation in your tank. With less evaporation you'll need fewer top-ups giving your beneficial bacteria and plants more time to effectively regulate TDS levels. This next benefit isn't exclusive to filterless zero water change aquariums but duckweed can significantly reduce the risk of algae growth. Duckweed not only absorbs excess nitrogen compounds as mentioned earlier, but also removes large amounts of phosphorus, a key contributor to algae blooms. Additionally, a full duckweed canopy on the water's surface blocks light penetration, further limiting algae growth. Research has shown that duckweed can reduce algae growth in aquariums by up to 63%. Another benefit of keeping duckweed in your aquarium is its ability to increase dissolved oxygen levels, which is essential for the health of your fish, shrimp and snails. Surprisingly, your fish might not be the largest consumers of dissolved oxygen in your tank. In heavily stocked, overfed tanks, the biggest demands come from two sources. Chemical oxygen demand measures the oxygen needed for chemical reactions such as converting ammonia into nitrite and then nitrate. Biological oxygen demand measures the oxygen microorganisms used to break down organic matter like waste, uneaten food and decaying algae. By absorbing nitrogen compounds, duckweed lessens the workload for nitrifying bacteria, lowering the chemical oxygen demand of your tank. Additionally, it helps reduce biological oxygen demand by controlling algae growth, preventing dead algae from decomposing and causing a spike in waste eating bacteria. Research shows that duckweed can reduce chemical oxygen demand by up to 70% and biological oxygen demand by 75%. This frees up more dissolved oxygen for your aquatic pets to thrive. However, it's crucial not to let duckweed overtake your tank. Too much can block gas exchange at the water's surface, leading to lower oxygen levels. To prevent this, remove excess duckweed weekly, keeping it to about 25% of your tank's surface. As an interesting side note, UK viewers might recall viral footage from Lincolnshire in 2022 and 2023, where duckweed completely overtook rivers and canals. The duckweed was so thick that pigeons could walk on it and small boats couldn't move. It even prompted the Environment Agency to release a press release saying that they couldn't step in until oxygen levels began to threaten fish. While our aquariums are vastly different from rivers, when maintained correctly, I would guess duckweed provides a net positive impact on dissolved oxygen levels. That wraps up the benefits of using duckweed in a zero water change, no filter aquarium, but let's quickly go over some of the drawbacks. The first and most common complaint is that duckweed can be difficult to manage. Once it's in your aquarium, it's incredibly hard to completely remove. During maintenance, you can use a hair comb to make removing excess duckweed easier by reducing water resistance but fully eliminating it from most setups is a real challenge. As mentioned earlier, giant duckweed is a more manageable alternative that still offers nearly all the same benefits. And if you want to avoid duckweed altogether, water lettuce is another excellent floating plant with similar research-backed benefits. The second issue is that some people
people struggle to grow duckweed in their tanks. Since duckweed is native to most countries and thrives across a wide range of water parameters, the problem is rarely your water quality. One common challenge is high water flow, which can prevent duckweed from efficiently absorbing nutrients but is rare in no filter setups. Another issue can be snails. Larger snails like apple snails may eat duckweed as a food source while some smaller snails nibble on its roots depriving it of nutrients. Overall, duckweed is an outstanding plant for any filterless zero water change tank. It helps keep your fish safe and addresses many common challenges aquarists face. I currently have duckweed in nine of my aquariums and using the comb method it only takes about 10 minutes each week to remove the excess. Ultimately it's up to you to decide if duckweed is the right fit for your aquarium. As mentioned earlier, giant duckweed and water lettuce are excellent alternatives that are easier to manage while still offering similar benefits. Anyway guys, that brings the video to an end. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.